Hello and welcome to the official non-esports YouTube channel. I am Kadoink and today we have in the bottom right of Ohana our non-esports player spawning in as the purple Protoss player. He is non-Toki Loki and his opponent today up in the upper left of Ohana we have the blue Terran Miss Poe. Miss Poe, I have no idea whether you are a man or a woman. I suspect you're a man but because of your name, I'm probably going to say she a lot, so I do apologize for that. I may say he, he is habit. We'll see. Um, but just know that I mean no offense uh, whether or not you are a female or a male. This game was sent to me by Legus for Toki Loki. said cast this as soon as possible. And I had two tests this week that I had to get out of the way, but now that I have some time... Very, very excited to be casting this and uploading it to the non-esports YouTube channel. Which, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please go subscribe. Uh, helps us out a lot. means a, a lot to us. Uh, in other recent news, I am on the K-State CSL team. CSL, for those of you who don't know, is the Collegiate Star League. Uh, it's a StarCraft tournament on the college level. And so we play a match or two a week, just on a Saturday. Uh, and today is my first match. It's against San Jose University. And I'm going to be playing a Master League Zerg, and I'm very, very excited to be playing him. Hopefully I will do well. We shall see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Looks like Miss Poe is getting up her uh, refinery, getting that at about 13. Uh, yeah, it was a 13 gas. And so she's probably going to be moving into a factory and then most likely a Banshee play. But we'll have to see. This probe is going to be able to slip up right before this SCV gets down there too. Uh, scout or even block. Sometimes you can use the SCV to start building a supply depot and block. It's so, so annoying. For the Protoss player. Orbital Command coming out of Miss Poe, and she's continuing to mine gas, but Toki Loki saw what he needed to see. He uh, saw the refinery down at 13, and he knows that a Banshee is a possibility. He knows Hellion Drop is a possibility. Looks like there was a little bit of lag as uh, maybe Miss Poe was dropping, and uh, Toki Loki just did some usual typing. We have Toki Loki going for the double gas, so I suspect we'll either see some sort of heavy sentry stalker play, uh, or an early, early robo. Um, there's all sorts of things you can do with the double gas. I will just have to see what he decides to do. It looks like he's putting his chrono boost into a stalker, getting that stalker first before Zealot, I believe. Yeah, there's no Zealot on the field. And yeah, I think that Toki Loki is going to put on some sort of uh, some sort of aggression with this stalker. He knows that his opponent uh, could be going for a banshee, so he really wants to have those stalkers up in case it is indeed a banshee, and so he can pick it off with the stalker zealots. Of course, very very useless against the banshee, and he's going to want to clear out that SCV before he puts down any tech. So. Here we go, it's actually a very, very early Twilight Council, so exactly what I was thinking, he's probably going to be going for some sort of early Blink Stalker play, as he is continuing to Chrono Boost uh, Stalkers out. I imagine he's just going to try to Blink up here on the high ground, or over here you can even Blink, and uh, put on as much pressure as he can. It might be, um, might even be a little bit of an all-in, we'll have to see. Second Gateway going down, I suspect he'll be putting down one or two more. Um, Maybe even a robo to get up that observer. I love this little marine spread by Miss Poe. If a stalker comes up here, if a stalker comes up this ramp, uh, the marines will all be able to hit it at once. So here, you can see all the marines shooting it at once. These stalkers are going to have to back up. Um, some nice little micro going on by both players, keeping all stalkers and all marines alive. I really, really like that. Oh, and it looks like Miss Poe has decided to go for the Hellions. I suspect, yes, a medevac is coming out at this time, but I don't think this is going to be that effective. Blink Stalkers are going to shut down this medevac uh, if it sees it, and it's going to shut down um, shut down Hellions if it sees it. So I, I think Toki Loki is very, very well prepared for this, getting up her third, his third gateway, as well as the robotics facility, so he can be pumping out those observers and making use of that blink. And this might end up being a very, very quick game, as Hellions are very bad against Stalkers. Really, you want those Hellions against things like Zealots, and this is meant to kill a lot of probes. So there's not much in the way of infrastructure or defense for, for Miss Poe. She's getting up her second gas as well as her command center. Uh, and it looks like 
very, very sadly, a Stalker was picked off. But now that Toki Loki sees the Hellion, I think he can suspect that a Hellion drop is on its way. He's sending two more Stalkers across the map, uh, but he's really going to need to warp in some Stalkers in the main. So does he have uh, Warp Gate just about done? Yes, it's going to finish, and he's going to have enough to warp in the second this, this Medivac pops out. Uh, and so we have the Hellions dropping into the main. We'll see how much damage it does, how many probes are killed. They're moving forward, and it looks like they're going to get two or three right there. A few more. Oh, this is very, very bad for Toki Loki. Oh, he's losing so many probes, he really needs to run these probes away. But it looks like he was able to get up into the main of Miss Post, so it looks like there might be a little bit of a base race here, uh, which the Stalkers are heavily favored. I don't know why Toki Loki is letting his probes die. He really needs to run this away. But effectively, these Hellions are going to be worthless, and it looks like we have all the SCVs coming in to try to deal with these Stalkers, but the Stalkers, I think, are going to be able to handle it just fine. We can even do a little bit of Blink Micro if he wants a tank coming out, but it is going to fall very, very quickly. And now Toki Loki looks like he's in a very commanding position. These Hellions are going to actually take a million years to kill this base, uh, and he even has a Stalker here to deal with them. So it looks like Toki Loki is going to be in uh, the better situation here. I don't know if he's going to Blink out of here or not. Stalker's getting kind of low. He's blinking them as they run out of shields. Very, very smart. And because of that observer, he can still pick off a little bit more of the SCVs. And it looks like he's going to hold his own in his main as well. Uh, but the one thing going on is Miss Poe has a little bit of an advantage with this command center. But I don't know if it's going to be enough because these Stalkers have come back into the base and are doing a lot of damage. He's going to be able to kill off these two Marines as well as these SCVs, no problem. With Stutter Step, Micro, and Blink, I don't think he'll have any problem. Nice, blinking forward to kill the Marine. And now there's nothing left for, uh, for Miss Poe. She has some money, she can pop out more Marines, but I think at this point it's basically over. He's putting down a Mule, oh, and nice, saving that uh, Stalker. <laughs> Not letting the SCVs kill it, and there's the G. Uh, Liquid Rat always saying, if he's just mad, he types 1G instead of 2. But yeah, wow, what a crazy game. A little... It was kind of like a mini base race, but it wasn't really a base race. Kind of a Hellions versus Stalkers. Stalkers always going to win in that situation. Much higher DPS. And uh, the Blink Micro is, is phenomenal. And being able to warp in Stalkers back at home was so nice for Toki Loki to be able to deal with that uh, annoying Hellion drop. So congratulations Toki Loki. An incredible game. Nice little win. 9 minute 30 game. It's pretty quick. Very, very happy to cast it. And I will be uploading it to the YouTube channel. Which, if you guys haven't subscribed to the non-esports channel, please, please, please subscribe. It would mean so, so much to us. Also, comment and like the video. That's also very, very helpful, and uh, we enjoy that. Share the video with your friends. That's another thing that would help us out a lot. And finally, check out uh, my own use, uh, my own personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Studios, as well as the non-esports official website. It's a great website, a lot of news popping up there, how we do in Clan Wars, things like that. So go check out that website, and that would mean a lot to us. So anyway, that's all I got. I'm going to go practice for the CSL. Thanks a lot, guys.